OK, now we're going to start looking at two quantitative variables. Going to look at scatter plot and see if there's correlation. Initially, though, we're going to just look at some problems to see what we think, if there may or may not be correlation or association, and if it would be positive or negative between the two variables. So here, a number of years of education and annual sa salary for U.S. adults. I think this would be positive because people with more education generally make higher salaries. Now, age and maximum running speed for adults. As people get older, they have a tendency to run slower. So this would be a negative association. And that's because older people, such as 80-year-olds, tend to run slower than younger people, such as 20-year-olds. Now, however, age and maximum running speed for children, it's going to be the opposite. Younger children run slower than older children. So this would be a positive association because older children, such as 12-year-olds, tend to run faster than younger children such as four-year-olds. Now, age of husband and age of wife for married couples, we would expect this to be a positive association because usually 80 year olds are more likely to be married to other 80 year olds as opposed to 20-year-olds. I mean, we know there are exceptions, but this is the norm. Usually, you'll marry someone within several years of your own age. Now, let's look at some scatter plots. And we have two scatter plots. And we want to know which of the following correlation values most closely approximate the correlation of the data. Well, this first one, it's all kind of going in a general upward motion. They're not grouped too closely together. So that will eliminate all the negatives and zero. It's probably going to be about 0 0.5. 0 0.9 would be grouped pretty closely together. Now the second one, it's going down, so we're looking at the negatives. It's not exactly in a straight line, so it's not going to be negative 1, but it's pretty close to a straight line. 
So it's going to be approximately negative 0.9. Now we want to actually find the correlation for this data set with six values. So pull out our calculator again. We're going to go to stat. We're entering these values, so we're using edit. Let's clear out what we entered before. Now the x values will be entered into L1. The y values will be entered into L2. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15. Then 5, 8, 6, 4, 9, and 50. Now we go to stat, calc. We're going to go down to number 8. Yes, our x is in L1, our y is in L2. We don't care about the rest. Calculate, and it tells us our r is approximately 0.964. So r equals 0 0.964. Six, four. Now we want to find for the correlation for the same data set with the last number, the outlier of 1550 removed. So we're going to go back to edit and we're just going to delete the last number in each column. Now go back to stat and calc down to number 8, and now correlation is 0 0.305. Now if we look at this, it's just to comment on the effect of the outline on the correlation, so there is a very strong effect of the outlier on the correlation.